conference will now be recorded. <coughs> Sorry. So, team, yesterday we created a sequential file. Okay. So, today I'll just I'll quickly create a one more file so that you will get it. It looks like, you know, recap for you. It looks like recap for you. Right. So, uh, I'm going to do login first. Uh, how we do login? By the way, I have shared the last five hours videos, last five days videos in with you guys. It is there in our YouTube channel uh, playlist. You can get it. Go there and do start answer. So I'll type log on. Venkat A. So whoever using Venkat A, I request don't use Venkat A between. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. because I will use this ID for this one hour. Okay, that is the one request. So, whoever using our ID, I request you to ping in the group so that others can, others don't do login. Yeah, so I'll type Venkat A. Now I will enter the password. Okay, I'll enter the password. Enter the password, hit enter. Now wait for some time. You see that there is a X wait. You can see X wait means you need to wait till uh, server response. I'll type ISPF. ISPF stands interactive system productivity facility. Now, so I'll type three. Three is a utilities. Enter. Two is a for option data set where you can allocate a data set we can rename the data set all you can do so type 2 <coughs> hit the enter so i will give a a means allocate so we can give the data set name here single quotes venkat a dot b13 i will give a 14 dot file 1 okay if the same file is existing, you will get already it is existing. Okay. So if you get, if you will, if you are on this screen, that indicates that if you are on that screen, that indicates that okay. Uh, if you are on the screen, that means that no problem in the data set name file name. So volume serial, okay, uh, as you know, dash D, direct access storage device. In our laptop, we have a hard disk, okay. In our mobile, there is a storage chip, storage, div, uh, storage uh, component will be there in our mobile, right. So that is SD card, right, SD card or whatever you call. So if you, on which, I know that is divided into multiple volumes okay so on which volume you want to store the particular data set j a s y s y j okay you have to give u s r 001 that is a volume everyone we should use either you are using a venkat a or venkat b and then we have a device type i told you right so we don't use device type but Parameter. This is called parameters. Okay, what we call parameters. So device type. So we will mention tape or dash D. Okay. So you are. And this is the volume. It is correct. But on which on which device? So this volume is on. Uh, this is a volume on the storage device. But if you want to mention the device type, either tape or dash D. That also we can do it now space how much okay how many characters you want to uh, allow how much quantity you are going to allow for this particular data set on system that is you are going to allocate so if I will give MB megabytes I'll give one primary quantity and secondary quantity two. so total to ask me the formula okay so if it is a, if you are creating a sequential file if you are creating a sequential file 
ओके प्राइमरी क्वांटिटी प्लस सेकेंडरी क्वांटिटी इनटू फिफ्टीन ओके सो प्राइमरी क्वांटिटी इज़ वन वाई अलोकेटेड सेकेंडरी क्वांटिटी आई अलोकेटेड इट टू इनटू इट इज़ फिफ्टीन मीन्स इट इज़ ए गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड हाउ मच हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट इज़ गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड फिफ्टीन टाइम्स सो आई विल टेल यू ऑल टुगेदर वन प्लस टू इंटू फिफ्टीन थर्टी 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 वन एम बी थर्टी वन एम बी वी आर अलोकेटिंग फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइल सो इफ यू सी इन टर्म्स ऑफ किलो बाइक्स राइट सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ थर्टी वन इंटू वन जीरो टू फोर दिस इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ किलो बाइट्स राइट वन जीरो टू फोर इज इक्वल टू वन एम बी राइट सो टोटल यू आर अलोकेटिंग हाउ मच दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवन फोर्टी फोर सो यू कैन गो हियर थर्टी वन एम बी इक्वल टू एबीस सो थर्टी वन थाउजेंड हाउ मच अराउंड थर्टी वन थाउजेंड राइट सो इट इज ट्वेंटी फोर राइट One zero two four. Now this is a kb. If I want to convert into kilobytes, so now thirty one thousand to seven seventy four into one zero two four. Okay, so this much thirty. You know you can this many characters you can store this many characters you can store in this particular sequential file. So What happens? It will take the first primary quantity. Let's say I am inserting the data. At one point of time, one MB will be completed, right? Then it will go to the secondary quantity. So how much memory allocated? Two and to fifteen. So do you think all fifteen uh, extended bytes will take? No. Okay. It is not going to take all fifteen extended. So it will take out of fifteen. First it will take the first extended. Then second extended like portion by portion. Okay, so total the how much maximum you are giving 31 MB. It is the expansion only applicable for the PS file. So if it is a directory block, we are supposed to give zero. And record format fixed block. Yesterday we discussed 80, or I can give a 40 record line. I can give a 400 block size multiplier. I can give a 800. Not a problem. Block size always multiple of record length. Since you are creating a PS file, give blank. Data set name type should be blank. So hit the enter. Is it clear now? Okay, right. So this is all about how you can create a data set. Now, how we can see the created data set? Let's say I logged in, I logged off. How to do log up? Then, by the way, you have to do a proper log up. Type equal x to close the current screen. And type two here. If you get this screen two, you enter two here. Here is a two. Delete data set without printing and enter. So on ready screen, you have to type log off. This is a proper log off. This is proper log off. Hit the enter. Log off is done. Okay. Now I can do log on. Log on. Venkat T A. Log on Venkat T A. So I will enter the password. I am entering the password. And I'll type a ISPF. Okay. So I'll type a ISPF. Interactive System Property Facility. Hit the enter. <coughs> Now, how to see the file which we created? So three 
again utilities enter under four okay so if i want to go back we have to press f3 guys okay i hope we you gone through all videos right four you have to type here four to see the data sets which you created so type four and here we need to enter let's say if you know the full data set name you can write data set name no anchor i don't know anything then we have a thumb rule that always our data set should start with the venkat a all our data set should start with the venkat a so give venkat a under star star should be enter venkat a dot star should be enter you can see the data sets which are starting with this level qualifier the file the data sets which are starting with high level qualifier venkat a it will list out all of them now can you see that 36 okay total 36 files are there 36 files are there now if you see uh, this is the batch 11 participants created these are all the batch 12 participants created so i will delete them now it is not required anymore for me <coughs> how we can delete the data set if it is existing type del so type del this is called line command del hit the enter and it is asking confirmation confirm your tsysp of delete enter you see that it got deleted now del type del enter again enter it got deleted so and we can do delete like this now our target is not that right so press f8 to see the bottom data f8 uh, now you see i created file one what i did it i created a file one so this is the file just now i created that i can see it okay i can see this one the file which i created now if you type anything in this area is called line command so i will type i information i stands information so type i hit the enter you can see yesterday what we saw the same one okay team so this is <coughs> this is data set attributes press f3 to you know now you can see record format fixer block record length 40 block size 800 so are we used anything current utilization did we insert any data into this file no so far we did not insert any data hence used megabytes zero used extens is zero i'll press f3 okay so we can type i or yes yes or i at this moment both are same if you are using for uh, what you call uh, pds you will get the more differences that i'll explain you later so we can type i or yes <coughs> yes means show information okay show information so here also you are getting the same as i told you we don't get that much difference at this moment press f3 to go back to the previous screen now if i want to rename this file i want to i want to rename file name type r hit the enter hit the enter button now you can see that you are renaming the data set and the current data set name is this is the one and on this volume it is there now do you want to change the file name yes i want to change it to tso1 and hit the enter hit the enter you can see that it is a renamed 
the message is coming against that row and the file name you can see if you type refresh type refresh to see the latest one okay so whatever you are typing is called command line right so we have a refresh refresh works very well on this screen not everywhere okay any queries Okay, so next we have seen uh, I line command I I means information yes and R okay so where is something called a D D R you can type it D E L okay so we use D for PS file or PDS you can use D E L also not a problem either D R D E L to delete a file but if you want to delete a wisdom file you should enter del you should enter del next so how we can enter the data the next one is how we can enter the data so open a data set in edit mode he means edit mode so opening modes there is a comma option called opening modes edit mode view mode v mode browse mode so edit mode means edit mode means you can edit the file okay and save and save the and save directly a view means view the data set but okay but there is only view do means only read only so read only so what is the difference between view and uh, browse view means you can view the data but you are you can do changes to save the changes after that to save the changes to save the changes you need to execute you need to execute a few commands then only you can do it as simple as direct save is not possible Direct save is not possible. Okay, so we will see all of them eventually one by one. I'll type here he he means edit enter. So it is a you have to enter again one more time. You have to enter. Don't do anything on this screen intentionally or by mistake. Hit the enter. Now, so this is the one we are going to spend more than one hour on this particular screen. Okay. So type reset. Okay. Re reset is going to work inside the file. Okay. So reset inside file. Primary commands are and line commands are. Okay. So what does main team? This is called primary commands or command line commands. Whatever you type called line commands. So when I when I open a data set, I am getting a warning message. So can you see? I don't want this, right? Type reset. Just type reset. The conference will now be recorded. Now be recorded. Now be recorded. Now be
okay you type reset then there is a command called what is the command reset there is a command called calls so type cols calls to see the column numbers okay uh, this is the first column second column third character third column fourth column plus is a 5 then after plus there is a 1 10 after 1 plus is there 15 after plus again 2 is there 20 25 then 30 and 5 40 so between plus and numbers whatever it is there 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 okay plus it can be it will is a 5 10 is a 1 numbers in case 10 20 30 after that 3 plus is there 35 after 2 plus is there 25 so between 1 and 5 between 2 plus 3 plus plus 4 plus 3 different you know between the rest of the columns will be there so if you don't want to type again type cols okay type only cl cols calls next taps on okay so what does main team caps on means whether you enter the data in lower case you type put the data in lower case you want to convert them into automatically upper case you want to them you want to the, uh, convert them into upper case automatically so we use auto say I mean, uh, if i type caps on okay if while entering the data if i enter anything in the lower case it will be converted into upper case that is the meaning of it so why we do like this team while we are writing the jcl programs while we are writing the cobol programs everything should be in upper case okay we write everything in upper case that is the reason we have to use capsule then okay then so once you do some changes if you want to save it i did not do any changes when well, i did not do anything but if you want to save it you can use save command you can use save command at a time you can type two commands how you can type it calls caps on save so like this calls caps on not only in this occurrence anywhere you can type more than one command by typing semicolon okay i hope you are clear next so so we have a cut and paste and all i'll explain them now we'll see line commands okay now we'll see the line commands i i means insert i3 insert three blank lines i10 insert 10 blank lines so i'll type i i now okay what i do first of all reset type calls let's say team i entered wrong command r e s so you are getting you know i entered r e s i will get an error message command an r s not found hit the enter you will be landing here delete that next i'll type i i uh, i enter so at this moment by default last eight positions blank right now you see what happens now i am entering the data in lower case enter two things you have to observe one is i did already caps on so though i entered data in lower case it is converting into upper case that is because of the caps on then this data last eight eight only right yeah last eight positions we did not enter any data 
but it convert but it is converted into uppercase sorry it, it is generated the numbers okay so that is in nature that is by default so what we need to do for that we have to use num of okay so num of there is another command called num of so type num of to restrict to restrict generating last eight numbers okay and enter now there is a short you know, there might be a doubt hey venkar still it is there okay i executed a num of okay now how you know i am inserting one more row i am inserting one more row b b b check it is it came for the second row no so always the command is applicable after executing the command if you do anything for those things it is applicable it is not applicable for the previous one see the first row i inserted before executing the num of so it is not applicable to that so we have to go manually and delete it now it will not generate go and delete it and save it it is not okay generating now right so that is all about on uh, term of functionality so it is very important in few scenarios writing a num of i went good yeah i have a doubt here uh i can see only 40 um, i mean calls 40 up to 40 i mean the screen size would be 80 right so it's not appearing may know why no 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 first of all the files no no the file size is 40 okay obviously you can see only 40 characters okay. the length of the file is 40 right got it okay okay now what happened here it is automatically oh my god it's generating so i'll reconnect log on enter the enter the password so now you will get it is this common team uh, it is quite common you will get a venkat in use because i did a log out i could not able to do log out properly so this problem will come this problem will come so you wait for 5 minutes you wait for 5 minutes it is going to work Okay, so I'll type log on. Enter B. I'm using different ID to now to proceed my explanation. So enter. So type ISPF or log off. Log off means to do log out. ISPF to go to the ISPF panel. Two options here. Enter. Instead, I created a file, sequential file. Uh, i will use settings to bring command line to the top i will go here because i am a very uh, you know uh, comfortable using command line on the top that is my we have show on to see the function keys see the function keys
now I'll go to three, so 3.4 I can type 3.4 to go to that so enter B mm, F8 so I can separate so F11 all are F11s F14 it is there here also open edit mode and before I open edit mode let me type I so that we can see the file length the file length is 30 open in edit mode enter so again reset calls caption save okay num of to restrict generating the last eight numbers Any queries so far, team? Okay, so again I2, I'll type I2, insert 2. So I'm entering data in lower case, the upper case, sorry. Now, don't hit the enter, you can hit the enter, not a wrong. Uh, I'm typing everything in lower case, now you see. So since it is a caption, it is converted into uppercase. So I am typing I4. I entered only one row that is a BBB. Then hit the enter button. So once you hit the enter button, all three rows will be gone. So when you type I5, I6, when you type I5, I6, enter the data. Enter the data like this. Don't hit the enter button. Just use mouse to bring the control next row VZAM COBOL DV2 and uh, CACS DV2 uh, REX if you enter automatically one more row it automatically comes similar C list enter one more row will come automatically so and save it ok so this is all about insert what is that it is all about insert now so uh, I request you I know you are in a important thing I'll stop sharing my screen I'll reshare it my screen again quickly I'll do it I want to go to YouTube channel I want to go to my YouTube channel I'll share my screen. So I request you. Thanks to for joining this particular session. So I'll be copying question one by one from the Excel to Notepad. So we should know the answer. Yeah, go to playlist team. Go to playlist. Uh, in this, this is the current batch. Don't watch current batch videos. Okay, you watch I'm sure it. Most of you wonder what a data engineering role looks like. I don't have any problem if you watch. But better best videos I can suggest you either go through this list which I shared with you already. If not there with you. Hi everyone. Yeah. So now I, I explain the videos are there with a the proper name. You know creation of the PDS. PS. Okay. Uh, this you can ignore it. Yeah. How to create a members. So topic wise videos are there. All topics are covered in this playlist. And you can watch that who are new to mainframe once and twice. There is a one more playlist uh, which is a full fledged. Okay, this one. This one. This conference. Now I will give these two links again. 
the notes okay you can go and get it this so you watch this playlist and start doing the hands on i don't recommend to watch the current batch videos you better you watch this one okay right so let's go back here are you clear to the now next we are done with the insert so what else we have okay lot of things right now how i can delete a uh, first row type anywhere in this okay this is called whatever i highlighted right that enter is uh, you know line command i can type d anywhere type d it the enter it got deleted now i want to delete a uh, c list bring the control there type d so that is all about we saw how to insert d d means delete the row delete the row d2 delete two rows in that okay uh, current row in current row also included so means the where you type the d2 right i'll type d2 in the top anywhere you can type so means a a a this all will be deleted i'll type again d2 now which lines will be deleted tso jcl two rows will be deleted next so d d d d this is called block delete what is called block delete so type from where to where i want to start from here and i want to delete till here so from first row till last row i want to type delete dd okay so i'll repeat again i'll insert now i so ispf scl exam ksds esds rrds enter lds yeah, exam cobal cobal dv2 tex rex msdv imsdc assembler pl1 c list right natural programming language uh, nat adab natural adabas adabas and save it save once you do the changes how to go to the top row f7 you press f7 now how i can delete from only this vizam files ksds ksd rrds lds4 i can go here type d4 so from there delete four rows oh my god okay i guess uh so i will type d40 so type d4 enter okay like this i want to delete uh from ts4 till cacs i don't know number of rows who will sit and count type dd dd i know from where to where right just simply otherwise you need to count it how many rows you want to delete which is challenging so you can type a dd dd okay next so we have something called c okay combination is c plus a copy a line after which are a right c plus b copy the line before copy the line before so i will type c i'll type a c you want to copy rex after which line i want to copy after natural go type a so like this you no need to delete the number just i am deleting for you to understand where i am typing so rex will be copied after natural programming language so since you are copying your rex original will be there new row will be added
Okay, team, any queries? Sir, I'm going to put it in the front. Okay, so now we copied similarly. I want to copy IMS DB uh, before Rex. Type B, so copy before Rex. I want to copy. So you see that C, copy that line before Rex. IMS DB is there at the stopping top and bottom. Now PL1. I want to copy after C list C A like this. Okay, I'm typing in the line command. So we have a block copy C C C C plus A after copy copy make it a block C C make it a block P4. So I will say C C and uh, copy. You see, copy this block code after where again story same. I want to copy after not okay before us bottom of the data. I can use B here also before the stars. It will going to print. So that is all about what you call copy copy after copy copy before. So we have a similarly move also is there. I'll talk after some time about the move. Okay, is it clear? Now, if I want to convert the data into lower case, okay, somehow. My requirement forcing me to convert into uh, lower case LC. You see that LC enter. Okay, it convert into the lower case. So LC converting the data into lower case. So same case LC two. Uh, by this you can understand easily. Convert lower case two lines. LCC block. So everywhere is a block. So well, these are all the commands developed 50 years back. Team. So you can imagine you now how much production was there at the time. So LC2. Rex IMSDB will be lower case. So LCC. Either you can type LCC in lower case or upper case. I'll type LCC. See that. You can save it to save the changes properly. So I'm going to do everything. LCC. LCC. And save it. Save it. Okay, next. Same with the uppercase. You guys can try later. You see, to convert into, to convert the row, to convert the row, go into uppercase. You see, five, five rows. You see, see, you see, see. Yeah, these are all we call line commands.
okay you should see so that is all about uppercase next uh, let's talk about uh, shifting the right data right side okay let's see so let me I will use a calls and I will use go with the TSO now you see TSO I will type right so give close open and the shift means shift the row data on column right side so you see here I'll show you again I'm saving it where is the TSO TSO is there on the first column now I'm keeping one column at the last also you see I am going to bring this explicitly inside the spaces mm -hmm. save it now TSO here on 30th now I will give close bracket see whatever it is there at the last it got deleted and I deleted ok oh, it's ok so Yeah, so it is shifting two columns right side okay two columns right side now you see that it is it is kept this row it is plus two okay if it is a the data if the data at the 10th column it is going to shift to plus two 12th row 12th column let's say your first character is starting at 15th column the 15th column then plus two it will be 17th column now so I will give 4 if you are specific so what is the, it is starting from 1 1 plus 4 5 you see it is started from 5, five. so you can give give 4 means it, if it is there at first column plus four okay fifth row fifth column let's say first, first character is there at the fifth column then you given a plus four so at ninth column your data will be there so now uh, if you want to make it a block block move same clo open close close bracket and give how many columns you want to shift it even you can give one column also okay same case left side left left four columns and block block left also is there okay right side <coughs> left side so this is there okay next x exclude the line x exclude three lines x x exclude block of block code so this is going to help you when you want to analyze the existing program okay you don't want to see okay so exclude block code when you want to analyze existing program exclude going to help you 
example i don't want to see the data x excluded x2 ns db dc will be excluded and uh, i will exclude this one i can make it a block so till this you see that so like that now i can see we have a hide in excel sheet right in excel sheet we can hide the row or column same thing we can do with this same thing we can do with the exclude how do you display them just on top on top of the command type reset type reset okay that is all about exclude so next what are the commands we have team covered insert update right let me explain move also okay move after move before move before mm mm after or before so i'll del i'll delete nx all delete not exclude line lines what is the command we i'm discussing del nx all delete not excluded lines all so you uh, did i did, did i you know excluded anything no right so this is the easiest way to delete all the lines save save this command so now i'll type here pso ispf scl bzam cobol db2 kicks now if i say m a so i am moving pso after dcl so the first row next after execution ispf will be there cut and paste move after means cut and paste copy means copy first it okay so if you want to copy the copy the block of code mm mm and uh, tv2 mm after kicks after kicks this is how you can move the data this is how we can move the data is it clear next okay uh move is also done explode is done reset is done now we'll see we have a something called now i'll talk about command uh, primary commands so we have something called profile so type profile to understand whether auto save on or not whether caps on or not okay num of number of <coughs> number of same number of both are same so to see what are all active okay you want to know what is the record length fixed 30 right so these are all things you can see there are so many other comments we will discuss them in a while after some time or in further sessions okay profile next find the command okay find so i'll write type reset f space okay let me uh, tell you yes so time sharing options global common business oriented i guess i cannot write yeah. oriented language now ESO, JCL, VSAM, TSO. Now I'll find a TSO. I will I'll go back to one word document. Yeah. If you see, I will type I'll type data you see here team right okay now if you see here find i am finding a data 
I click on find the next find the next when you are clicking on find next it is going next occurrence of the find right so okay if you want to achieve the same thing I am clicking on find the next same way if you want to achieve that our uh, okay I'll reset FTSO by default it will be on the first occurrence of the TSO press F5 F5 means refind find the next so if you want to understand one minute uh, I will go with the keyboard layout not keyboard layout tools customize toolbar no 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 options I go terminal cross air apply yeah now where is the curse okay I'll reset again find TSO where is the cursor on the pod row if I press F5 directly it will go where TSO is there F5 function key F5 refined okay so that is the concept of uh, find command find your string name within the double quotes okay then you press F5 function key to refine again and again to find the string re again and again okay team so that's all for today we will see rest of the commands tomorrow